All right, let's get right to the very first thing, the Nico Helgramite. I'll try to show pictures and close-ups of these. My camera, I kind of set it back further and it's having trouble focusing anyways. But anyway, so the Nico Helgramite, I use a bunch and I've used it a lot here recently. All right, so first, Nico. Nico is the name of a brand, some soft plastic lures made in Japan, like a lot of other ones, but they are almost indestructible. They are the toughest lure I've ever used. Very, very high quality. They're scented, they're very stretchable. Um, you, you're not going to be able to tear them up. A fish will have to really, really work to tear them up. You, you know, instead of catching two or three fish off a lure, you can catch 20 or 30 fish easily. And the only way I destroy these is by getting them stuck in a log. So how I rig them up is with a um, Z-Man, I'll show you the pictures of these, the Z-Man Z, Z Finesse Shrooms uh, Ned Rig Jig Head. This is just the one that they sell at Walmart. I don't know if this is the best one for it, but I like it because I like the way it holds the lure on there. One tenth ounce, one fifteenth ounce, one of those usually depends on you know how heavy it is, and sometimes even one twentieth ounce. Uh, I don't like using real heavy stuff. That's just another thing that I don't use a lot of, and I'll show you my fishing pole in a little bit. But rigging this up like this, um, yes, the hook is exposed, and you can't lose them. So if I lose one of these, that's three dollars gone down the drain. But uh, if whatever you fish with, you're going to lose stuff. You know, you're going to get a, a hung up different ways. But so I'll, I'll take this, and a lot of times I'll just cast it in the current and let it drift. Try to keep it off the bottom, let it drift, and that's how I've caught most of the fish. You can fish it a million different ways. I've thrown it in front of fish and just twitched it all on the bottom watching fish. I've thrown it in ponds and it's just a fish hits it while it's sinking. Uh, rock ledges, um, but a really fast moving water I have trouble, but if you can get it into the current and drifting down like a normal bug would be, the fish is just sitting there looking for something to eat. eat. And they bite this, and a lot of times they just bite it and they just hold on to it. You know, they're just biting it like they're gonna eat it and you barely feel a tug. Um, that's why I like using the exposed hook where when they got it and they barely get it, you know, you set the hook, it's gonna, gonna be able to hold on to them. But Nico Helgramite, that's how I rig it. That's how I use it most of the time. I uh, definitely suggest people trying this, um, especially smallmouth bass fishing, but any kind of, I've caught lots of other fish on there, a lot of trout like it. I cut it down a lot of times. I know several other people that they'll cut it in half and use it. And actually that works really, really good too. But um, you stretch them. And I think you stretch and snap them to recent them, but like you're not going to tear it up. It re works really good and um, very high end lure. I also like their swim baits, the uh, Shad Scholar. Um, also like they, they have a lot of real small jigs, um, the Stone Flies and the Caddy Flies, and they're really great. I put them on like usually a one six four ounce jig head. Super awesome for um, pan fishing and things like that. Nico uh, has been able to give me a code. So Creek 10, you got to enter it the right way when you're checking out on their website, nico-fishing.com, you get 10% off. Also, I get a little percentage. So they, they decided, to, they said they would let me get a little percentage of the sales if you use Creek 10. So you get some money saving, I get a little money. And I was really appreciative of them to do that. They were one of the first people that really sent me the lures. And um, I, I, I love their stuff. I wouldn't be using it if I didn't love it, you know, and if they wouldn't give me anything, I would be buying it, you know. I would have never known about it if they had to send it to me, and I'm really thankful they have. All right, let me show you another one I've been using a lot recently, um, a couple lures, is these Kytec Easy Shiners. Uh, this is a three inch one, and also, I don't have a package of them, but um, this is already on a jig head. It's a uh, Mega Bass. It's uh, real similar, it's this uh, Hayes Dong uh, Shad three inch, three inch and four inch of these things. Um, they're super flexible and flimsy and they were they really been catching me some fish um they will tear apart really quick though um but a lot of soft plastic like that so when you get a few fish caught on it it's gonna rip it apart pretty good but crappie really like it i've caught so many crappie by accident fishing with these uh little three inch lures and um they just they'll just they eat them they love them it's and the, you know it's flexible you can let it drift you can let it drop real slow you can twitch it you can swim it i love lures that you can do multiple um you know fish it multiple ways the jig head i use i get asked this a lot for those i'll take a picture and show it this one here is a arky swim bait jig head i think it's what it's called 1 16th ounce they make uh the orange colored ones and they make a black colored ones also get those at walmart and i just love the way it's set up it's very simple and it's a real short swim bait type jig head you, you can use, um, I also like using these um, Arky painted ones. They got a, another, uh, just like a jig head and Eagle Claw also. Just stuff, I usually I just use it because I find them at Walmart. 
And um, they're both, these 116th and 132nd sounds I really like using. And uh, just for a lot of different lures, something real simple. But the little swim bait one is, is something I really like. And I've been to Walmart two times recently and they've been out. So I'm not sure uh, if they're just out of stock or what, but uh, I definitely like that. And that's a great little jig head for a lot of little small swim baits. I also use them on the Nico uh, Shad Schoolers a lot um, because it's so short and it lets the you know tail have a lot more action. And it, I like lightweight stuff and I'll, and I'll go over my rod and reel setup next. But there's there's those and there's um, little swim baits I've been using. And there's lots of different swim baits and lots of things out there, but that's, that's um, something I've been using a lot here recently. All right, let me go over my rod and reel setup and then I'm gonna go over a few more uh, other lures and some, uh, stay tuned because I'm gonna show you how to get some of these teeny yards if you're looking for those and some of the Rebel lures. But here recently, I have been using medium light action uh, rods. So that's like my new favorite thing to use. And it's so versatile, you know, a lot of times you think you have to use medium, medium heavy to be able to set the hook. You don't, have, don't necessarily have to. You can use, uh, what happens is when you're using a medium light, I can feel bites so much better. You know, it's everything's, you know, extra sensitive. So take a medium light. This is a 6.9 Abby Garcia Veritas, 6.9 medium light with 10 pound braid. And I've been using a lot of this, uh, the PC Fun Lunker braid. And um, it's, it's, uh, it's high vis yellow. I like, you know, you can throw it out there, you can see it. Um, so add braid to anything, which, I'm just now getting up to speed on braid, sort of, but it makes everything just so much more sensitive. So you got braided line on a medium light action pole. So your, your sensitivity is very high. If something, if you're using a um, Helgramite or something like that, like, you know, that kind of lure, you just want to feel that fish just barely tap it. You're like, okay, he's got it in his mouth. Something real, very small tap, a very small hit. And uh, that way you can know when it's on there. So 6.9 medium light, this one right here is, uh, this is a, a 2000 size, um, piece of fin carbon x reel and my leader line this is just one that i've used uh, it's a fluorocarbon line i think mono works just as good it's a um cigar red label it's, it's a really high end uh, it's supposed to be really abrasion resistance line it's eight pound i like i've been going with eight pound been really happy with it i feel like it's strong enough to hold up for a lot of different fish and it's small enough to you know where it's lets that lure be you know more realistic and kind of just drift and do what it needs to do. So eight pound leader, I tie it on with a, a double uni knot. I'm not gonna show you how to do the knot. It's, you know, you, you can watch up. There's a lot of videos that show everything more clearly how to do that. Um, but another one I have, this is another medium light. This is the PC Fun Serpent. Now I, I um, a lot of y'all know that I've started a uh, partner, partnership with uh, PC Fun. And I'm so glad I have, because this rod, this is a super lightweight rod. It, it's more lightweight. Uh, then the Veritas. Um, I like both of them. I don't know if I have one that's I like better. I, I go back and forth, but it's, it's very lightweight, very sensitive. Um, I, I'm going to try some of the other ones. But this one is a 6.8 medium light, and um, if you're fishing all day and like casting, 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 you know how heavy a rod and reel gets. This thing right here, you can cast it all day, and you, you better feel like you have anything in your hand. Also, I have 10 pound line. I have a, uh, a 1,000 size PC Fun Viper 2 reel. I think I also have eight pound leader on this. Uh, if I go a little bit heavier, I might use a 10 or 12 pound leader, and I might even go down to like a six pound leader, but eight pound seems to be a, just a great leader size for crappie fishing. Well, usually if you're crappie fishing, you're not using braid, but if I'm catching crappie, if I'm catching bluegill, if I'm catching little bass, I'm catching four pound bass, it's like a great range to hold them all up. So medium lights, they make, and uh, this one here, both of these I actually got little swim baits on, that's what I've been using recently. But you can throw around a 1 16th, a 1 32nd ounce lure, a little jig head, something tiny. You can cast it way out there. Whenever you throw in a smaller thing, it lets it fall slower, lets it more uh, sensitive. When it does drop and a fish bites it, he doesn't feel a big weight in his mouth. He just bites it. He's like, okay, I just got something in my mouth. And then you can set the hook on it before the fish realizes he got something that's not real in his mouth. Medium light setups. If I go down to... Um, like smaller fishing um or like i will do a lot more once the my little creeks dry up this right here is a cast king calamus six foot light action so a light or an ultra light action is really great i got four pound mono on it and i got uh i think this is the it's the tourney tough um bass pro line i also really like the um trout magnet line the leland line um i like both of them they, they're they're really strong like four pound 
is, is pretty strong. It, it's a lot stronger than most people think. And um, so four pound line is great for just like um, all around multi-species fishing. Four, four pound, six pound. Sometimes I'll go down to two pound if I'm doing ultralight. But four pound line, you really can, I've caught a lot of fish on this setup. I've used this, this setup here and caught so many fish. Now, I like, I've been using the braid a little bit more recently because I've been targeting a little bit more uh, bass recently, like smallmouth and stuff. So I like a little bit heavier stuff for that, but that works great. And I'll be using that a lot for a um, little bit smaller creeks and, you know, you know, picking off little fish. All right, I know this is probably going to end up being a longer video than uh, intended, but I want to put a lot of information in here. I'm going to try to put all this stuff below. Let me go ahead and show you this right here. People ask me about sunglasses all the time. These are the sunglasses I use because they sell them at Walmart. <laughs> I'm kind of the guy, if I see it and it's convenient to get and it works, then I'm just gonna go with that, you know. Um, spider wire, polarized sunglasses. Oh yeah, don't they look good? Um, it's, it's, uh, it's not real dark in the shade, so it, it's, um, it's like a yellowish tint to it. It's, I have never used really high-end glasses, so I don't know how to compare it to, but I use that. And now I never realized how much I rely on it now for fishing and being able to use it and be able to, you know, be able to send to, see into the water. It cuts the uh, glare and stuff off. Um, certain days it's a lot more useful than others. $15 at Walmart. I think they're like $15. You know, I've seen some other ones that I've used are like $20. I lost them, I think. But I've got a couple pair of those. $15 bucks for, uh, you know, a sunglass that is polarized and it works well. I feel like that's just a, that's a great, great deal on that. Um... That's just something I found at Walmart, and I tried it, and I like it. Whew. Okay, let's go to lures that I'm going to be using a little bit more coming up because the fish are starting to get active and hammer stuff, and that is little crankbaits. And one of my favorite little crankbaits is Rebel Teeny R's. Rebel Teeny R's catch such a variety of fish. They are really good on trout. I've caught so many trout by accident fishing areas where there's or I mean I'm not really targeting trout and then boom they hit it and then I've gone to places where there are trout and they love this lure um, there's several I don't remember how many I think there's four or five different colors um, the brown one might be my favorite but every color has worked well the bass I actually did a video um, where I fished with a, like four or five different colors and was catching trout and smallmouth um, just working down this bank just catching a lot of fish I love the Rebel Crick Hoppers. Uh, a lot of people are starting to use these. They're very fun lure to catch, uh, uh, to catch fish on. Uh, the Rebel Crawls, I got s like six different ones of these. And then uh, there's a Deep Crawl. But the Rebel Lures, especially those three are like, I use those all the time. And you can get those, all those at one website, along with Bobby Garland's. If you want Bobby Garland's for crappie fishing. Yum lures. This is a yum swim bait. It's a yum pulse, a three and a half inch little swim bait or a trailer for like a um, spinner bait or something like that. Oh, there's another Rebel Crawl. Uh, those also, what else they got here? Bobby Garland's, several other lures. I can't remember what all they got, but you can get them all at lurenet.com. Also, I got a 25% off code for that. Creek Fishing 92635. 25% off everything at LureNet.com. Not making anything off of that one, but I really appreciate Preco and the guys over there uh, sending me some lures to try and give me a code to use. I actually went on there and bought a bunch of stuff. That's where I got a lot of these teeny hours because I, I can't find teeny hours like anywhere else. If you go to a store, you usually can't find them. Oh, great. Now it's raining. All right, I got to try to wrap this up. So um, get all the, all the Rebel lures you want, all the Yum, um, well, I think War Eagle spinner baits, a lot of other stuff, LureNet.com. You have to enter it in before checkout uh, in like your box or uh, whatever it's called, wherever you store, you know, all this stuff in there. I forget what it is, but before you go to the checkout, you have to enter that in. It's a little tricky if you don't do it just right, but 25% off some, um, and these aren't even a bad price. The, the teeny R's, a lot of stores are like, uh, like, like two, three dollars higher than they are on the website. So if you're looking for those, I know a lot of people have been asking me, I've used these lures for years and just now found out where to get them all at. So I'm really thankful for that. A couple other things I like using. Rapala, of course, makes a ton of great things, but the Rapala jointed, I really like that one uh, for certain situations, but it, it's a um, great lure. Um, Bobby Garland's, I like using little Bobby Garland's. Let's see here, we got trout magnets. How can you not go with trout magnets? They catch everything. I caught a 16 inch largemouth yesterday on a trout magnet. 
with a 164th ounce jig head on two pound line. It was pulling drag like crazy. Uh, so trout magnets, you can, a lot of trout magnet stuff you get at Walmart. Bobby Garlands, you can find those at Walmart. Uh, or not Bobby Garlands. Pampers Assassins, you can find those at Walmart uh, most of the time also. Uh, let's see here. But of course, you know, Z-Man uh, Z makes some really good stuff. Ned Rigs, you know, they've been around for a little while now. People really know about those, but you can catch a lot of different fish off Ned Rigs. Uh, really tough material also, and they're, they're coming out with more things. Uh, so hopefully that covers a lot of stuff. Um, this is a PC Fin wading bag that I've been using a lot. Uh, get quite a bit of stuff in there. So I don't know. Hopefully that covers everything. There's a lot of I put a lot of information out there. This is this is the kind of video that I'm it's probably not going to get you know a ton of views, and I'm not doing this video to like you know make a ton of money on of because it's not going to get as many views as you know some of the other ones. But I think it would be very helpful for people that are actually looking for this thing and wanting to uh, figure some stuff out. I got a couple things in the mail. Let me go ahead and go through that. What in the world? Oh man, these are big old Helgramite things. I have never seen anything like this. John, it says, uh, I made some homemade Helgramites from recycled used plastics. Uh, I made them bigger. I'm, I'm now a Nico fan, but I wanted to play around and make some. <laughs> uh, these are not professional, but I was happy how they turned out. Yeah, they look pretty cool. Uh, so I'll give you a few to try. Uh, enjoy your channel, brother. Keep up and never sell out. Well, I'll try not to. But, um, so, um, thanks, Eric. Uh, he sent me some. <laughs> these are awesome. They're uh, homemade Helgramites. I definitely got, I got to try these. I, I will have to do a video or something just trying these things out. They look really cool. They're bigger than the, the Nico ones. But, dude, thanks so much, Eric. Appreciate you watching my channel and even sending me stuff. That, that is awesome. Dear John the Fisherman, here's a little something to let you know how much we are enjoy watching your two videos on YouTube. We know that you probably have enough lures to fill Bass Pro Shops and wanted to send you something. Just a little information on how I got started. 25 years ago, my husband took me fishing on July the 4th, no fishing license required, North Mills River in western North Carolina. I caught a little red breast on a piece of corn, and I have been hooked on fishing, or have hooked ever since. We love that you quote the Bible verses at the end of all your verse, uh, videos. Enjoy this card on us for food, snacks, or gas. I do like snacks. This card is activated for the amount shown. We wish you the best of luck on your YouTube channel and you continue to grow. Ah. Whoa, Andrew and Michelle. Wow, thanks so much. Uh, sorry, I've been out of town and um, sorry it took a while to get to this. That is crazy. Let me open it up. Dude, that is amazing. Yeah, they sent me... I, I, uh, a gift card, or a Visa card to just spend on whatever. That, dude, that is awesome. All right, well, I'll definitely be buying some snacks with it. That's that's for sure. Probably a couple other fishing lures and stuff like that. Um, just because I love, I can't stop buying things, but that that is very awesome. Thanks so much, uh, Andrew and Michelle. That, that, you don't, you know, you don't, I don't expect people to do something like that. That's, uh, that's above and beyond right there. I definitely will use it and hopefully will use it wisely. Okay, I hope I answered questions. Um, I don't mind replying to comments and messages that people uh, get, but I know a lot of people are probably wondering some of these things, and hopefully it covered some of them. Um, I have several other things that people sent me. I didn't show right now, but I, I want to try to get those in a video. I got several other lures that people sent me that I plan to try to use, and, and it just hasn't worked out yet. So, you know, I'm sorry if I haven't got, you know, what you sent me in a video or, you know, used it yet. But uh, I, I try to use everybody's things, and a lot of things I have that I really want to use, it just either the weather hasn't been right, or you know, I'm kind of waiting for some of these small creeks that keep getting flooded. I want to go in there and, and try and use some of these lures. So Hopefully this video helps you out a little bit. If you made it to the end, please subscribe to this channel. It's really helped me out. I am just crossed 47,000 subscribers today. Um, I have like six more videos that I haven't even edited yet that I've already done. Most of them are like seven or eight days old now. I'm trying to catch up. I plan on putting a video out every day until I catch up. Uh, I've been, I'm kind of way behind from taking a little the trip I did uh, a few days ago. All right, now I got to pick up all this stuff and organize everything. Didn't even go fishing today. Uh, it's kind of stormy and stuff like that, but I'll probably go, go do some fishing tomorrow. Thanks for watching. appreciate all the support. If you have any questions or comments, you can comment them. If you want to buy my t-shirts, you, there's a link below. If you want to send me a private message, like you can get me on Instagram or my email uh, accounts below. But I definitely appreciate everybody. Appreciate what you sent me. Appreciate the comments. And I appreciate you watching.